Hi, I'm Shane with eTrawler.com. Today I'm going to walk through how to install Optronics round LED tail lights. It's going to be a five and a half inch round light. It's going to be submersible, so it's going to be sealed. So you can see here we have it on a, a cattle trailer. Uh, if we were to put it on a boat trailer, anything that may be going down in the water, it's going to work great. We're not going to have to worry about the lights getting damaged. We're going to have 10 diodes. It's going to be an LED light which is going to be much better than your standard uh, incandescent lights because with LEDs they're going to last about 50 times longer and we're not going to have to worry about changing bulbs. We're going to have white LEDs with a red lens. The lens is going to be polycarbonate, which means if a rock happens to, to bounce up off the road or something and hit the lens, we're not going to have to worry about it cracking. You can see it's going to be a flush mount, which makes it a very clean looking light once it's installed. It's going to be a three wire light, white, red, and black very simple to hook up. We just connect them directly to the factory wiring that was already on the trailer. You can see here the flush mount design is going to maintain a nice clean look on the vehicle or on the trailer. Hardware is not going to come with it, mounting hardware. I use self-tapping screws. Um, you can also use nuts and bolts, whatever you choose. You can find both of those here at eTrailer.com. These lights are going to give us all the proper lighting function so that we're safe and legal. It's going to give us our brake lights, right turn, left turn, and our running lights. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we need to remove our old tail light. Now for our installation, we're actually going to be replacing the, the plug itself. Uh, they don't come with the lights, but they can be found here at eTrailer.com. You can see a little bit of damage on the wiring. So now we'll go ahead and remove the plug itself. Now we can go ahead and try to get our light inserted here. You'll notice that it's not quite fitting in. With the age of the trailer and the lights that they had in, the old light had a rubber ring on it, so it fit inside the whole pretty easily. This one's fully sealed all plastic. You'll notice the build up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a grinding wheel and I'm going to grind down this edge and get some of this uh, rust and stuff off. Maybe there's built up paint in there. So this will slide in a little bit easier and we won't break it. Once we get it cleaned off, slide our light into place. I'm just going to use some small self-tapping screws to make sure it stays there. We've already got our new plug installed on our light. It's going to have three wires, white, red, and black. Black wire is going to go to, to uh, your power wire going to your light. Red one is going to go to your brake and turn signal and running light signal. White wire is going to be a ground. This plug, if you're replacing it, is going to have a ring terminal on it. You can either ground this by itself or tie it into the ground wire that's going to, or the factory ground wire. I'm gonna actually cut this ring terminal off, shorten the wire a little bit, tie it into the factory ground, which is grounded somewhere inside the trailer, to give it a little bit more protection. And what I'm using is I'm using heat shrink buck connectors. I suggest this if it's gonna be outside, it's gonna help protect your connections from corrosion. Cut it back, strip it, Add it to your factory ground wire if that's the way you're doing it. Crimp on your butt connector. Then we'll take our heat source and shrink it up. If you don't have a heat gun, I suggest getting one uh, rather than using a lighter because the lighter is direct flame where this is just heat. You can find these heat guns here at eachar.com. You can see in testing our light, everything's working correctly. Now we can go ahead and clean up our install on our wires. I'm gonna put a little bit of wire loom on them and some electrical tape just to help protect those wires just a little bit better. That's gonna do it for a look at our Optronics LED trailer light.